Hi students and welcome back to SK Wonder Kids and today my topic is little different and that is not from physics or mathematics. I'm not going to describe any chapter. I'm not going to explain you any chapter from physics. I'm not going to solve any numerical problem but today I'm going to tell you slightly little about artificial intelligence that is AI. Okay, I'm going to tell you about what is AI or what is artificial intelligence? How can it be helpful for humans and how can it be harmful for us? Okay, this can be also point because AI means artificial intelligence are also very useful for us, but they're too very harmful for us. So first let us know what is artificial intelligence or AI? Okay, so for that, let me explain to you that just like we humans have developed a lot for centuries, okay, has been earlier Big Bang occurred, later Earth was, okay, Earth was invented, it was discovered, okay, Earth was formed, later what happened after some time humans were born on Earth and since then we humans are developing, okay, and now we have developed a lot. Now we know that what we have to do next. Now we are capable of making our own decisions. Okay, that is a very nice capability. That is very nice ability of him. That the humans know that what they have to do the next. Okay, they know what they have to do next. Okay, so they can make their own decisions themselves. Okay, but what computers are? Okay, actually generally nowadays computers can make their own decisions. They work on the okay information given by the humans. Whatever human says to the computer. Okay, the computers follow to human beings. But what we have that nowadays scientists are trying to make such kind of robots, such kind of computer which can make their own decision. Okay, those kind of robots can make their own decision themselves. Okay, so that will be have a smart type computer program or that will be very smart robot and that kind of program okay or robot can be called as artificial intelligence or we can simply call it as AI okay just like example I'm giving just like we all know about the famous company Tesla okay we all know about famous company this Tesla so what Tesla has done that before some recent years what it has done that it has invented a new type of car that is self-driving car okay Tesla has invented such a car which can work without a driver this automatically only we have to choose our destination we have to sit in the car and it will automatically take you to the destination using GPS and Many sensors are applied in that car to take us to the destination to locate the points over the map only we have to locate our destination over map and what if but any barrier comes through this through which way it is going okay the car is going so the car will again make a turning point and it will go through another way so that is how the self-driving car works okay invented by tesla company so it is also very amazing car now in usa it is also working very nicely now over 15,000 50,000 cars are working in the usa at this time okay they are on road so let me tell you that they're very interesting tap cars only okay they take us to the our destination themselves so here let me inform you that this kind of car is also an artificial intelligence of course it is an artificial intelligence because this is a decision making car because it makes its decisions its own self whether through which way we have to go okay whichever way we have to choose okay it will the car will automatically choose itself and such a system in which we can in which the computer systems can take their decisions decisions their own self so that can computer system or robotic system is known as artificial intelligence or ai so this type of car invented by tesla is also an ai artificial intelligence but let me inform you very important and interesting point that is that even our day-to-day -day life we also see many kind of artificial intelligences that is very interesting point but how we all around have no seen such a machine such a robotic or computer machine which takes their decision own self our smart do phones don't work by their own self the, our computer system don't work by their own self then how so let me tell you that actually we see many applications in our mobile phone in our smartphone such as google assistance alexa those all applications are examples of ai or artificial intelligence but how because we can see that they can also make their decisions own self what to do because they can recognize anything what is meaning of artificial intelligence just like it is a very smart type computer program that can take their decisions also 
can do whatever a human being can do and sometimes some artificial intelligence can do even something greater than human something beyond the imagination of human something which any human being cannot do but that artificial intelligence can do let me inform you about once alan during the great mathematician who had cracked the code of enigma machine okay he had asked a question in public that can machines think can computer programs think and nowadays even now scientists are trying to find out the answer can they think and now ai okay means artificial intelligence of course they can think they can make their own decision and so maybe in future it is also possible that maybe it is possible they can have their own emotions okay they may have their own emotions they can also think so let's come to the point that artificial intelligence examples such as alexa google assistant just like where if you'll write hi on google assistant so there will be a reply in, uh, hi to us also on our smartphone and sometimes it is even in different different languages so that is also an artificial intelligence whichever question that you will ask to it it will instantly give reply that is an artificial intelligence let me give you an example whichever term you search over youtube okay very famous application it is youtube so whichever term you'll search so whenever you after searching when you'll go in home screen or recommendations so you can see that related to that term many videos will be present but why how it is such can the mobile recognize of course it can because there is an artificial intelligence fix in that application that artificial intelligence okay as we know it can think itself it okay as we know that it can make its decisions own self and we know that actually what is that artificial intelligence just okay does only it is that whichever term is searched in history so which term is mostly searched in history related to that it puts on the recommendation or home screen mostly videos this is why mostly we see whichever term we source so mostly related to that videos come that is also an artificial intelligence but let me inform you that artificial intelligence can be sometimes useful for us and they can also be sometimes harmful for us but how they can be useful and how harmful just like if we see many okay just like directly if we have to search over anything on google so we need to go and type or we have to okay just like we tap the mic for type okay for directly speaking and okay finding answers to our questions so that is a, a very long process so we can only call hey google and our google assistants will be present in front of us and later only what will happen we have to speak our question and directly will get the answer to that question so they can be artificial intelligence are very useful for us and just like which human which task human cannot complete okay whichever task maybe in future if more artificial intelligence would be developed so maybe for humans those tasks could be completed by our artificial intelligence robot such as even now we have very developed artificial intelligence such as sophia the ai robot sophia is very developed artificial intelligence robot okay and it is also very famous ai robot okay you can search about sophia and many places on google and even on youtube it is very famous robot and let me inform you okay but sometime it may be also possible that ai will be very harmful for us it can of course be possible they can be of course useful for us either useful or they can be harmful for us okay it is also possible many okay many physicists okay even bill gates has said and stephen hawking has said elon musk has said that they, that artificial intelligence can can be the end to mankind it can be of course the end to mankind because maybe it happens because let me inform you that a computer system thinks very fast okay its thinking speed is nearly equals to that of speed of light which is 3 lakh kilometer per hour okay it is very high speed so its thinking speed is nearly equals to that of speed of light in vacuum so just like they can understand anything very fastly and artificial intelligence can understand anything without an input source even this can be possible of course it can be possible they are very advanced technologies so what can happen that maybe if they think about their own self if they think about developing their own self and rule over mankind so they can of course maybe there would be such a battle between mankind between humans and artificial intelligence and in that of course artificial intelligence will win because they are very developed technologies and humans cannot win according to this time humans cannot win to artificial intelligence so this may be also possible 
so if we if they turn against us so maybe they, they will be the end to mankind but if we if they turn to support us so maybe the mankind will live forever it may be also that the mankind will not end it may be also of course it can end but it will maybe that mankind will live for very long years okay for very long centuries okay it may be also so what we can say that they can be helpful for us and even useful but let me tell you the two types of artificial intelligence that is narrow artificial intelligence and general artificial intelligence narrow artificial intelligence we can call okay that means of very small area their area is limited okay we can call they don't have very much knowledge they cannot take many of their own decisions just like google assistance we have that is a narrow artificial intelligence it is not very much developed technology but the in the same general artificial intelligence is a very developed technology it can make the, its each own decision it can make its own decision each of its decision is its own and if it wants so it can also destroy humankind okay mankind and if it wants so it can support and even bring mankind to okay it will bring mankind to such a point where mankind cannot so the, the general artificial intelligence area is very broad and it is we can call it the, it is very advanced technology so let me inform you one very important point related to artificial intelligence that is a singularity just like we can call singularity as as the scientists are saying that there can be such a okay such a time when artificial intelligence will turn against mankind and they will start ruling over mankind so such a time will be called a singularity means whenever okay just like it may be possible even in 2030 it may be possible in 2040 and in recent years it can be of course possible so whenever at what time the artificial intelligence robots will start ruling over mankind that point okay or that time will be called a singularity so this was my today a total detail about artificial